Delete the default cube and lamp. Add a new motion tracking workspace in Blender and import your video clip. Set the scene frames so that the project is the right length. Add the video clip to your camera as a background and set the opacity to 1. Then position the camera so that it's in line with the grid. Add two empties, one at each end of the lightsaber. You can scale them down so they're easier to work with. Add a cylinder. Use the 3D cursor to set the origin to one of the faces. Scale down the cylinder, then use the 3D cursor again to move the cylinder to one of the empties. Add a stretch to constraint to the cylinder and select the other empty. Because the stretch to constraint uses the object's Y axis, you will need to rotate the cylinder minus 90 degrees on the X axis, then apply the rotation to get the correct result. Adjust the original length slider so that the cylinder reaches the second empty. Hold down shift to get fine control when using the slider. Set the volume variation to zero, then scale the cylinder so that it looks right. Parent the cylinder to the constraint that isn't the stretch to target. Add location keyframes for both empties. Turn on auto keyframing and reposition the empties for the rest of the shot. Keyframe roughly every five frames, then go back over the video and position the empties on any frames that aren't done automatically. This is much quicker than going through the shot frame by frame. Once the keyframing is done, go into the shading tab and add a new material. Delete the principled shader and replace it with an emission node. Choose a colour for the lightsaber blade and set the strength to 100. I prefer using cycles, so I'm going to select that as the render engine. I'm also going to set the world background to black and enable motion blur. Then render a frame, but it looks a bit meh. Open the compositing tab, select use nodes and shift control click to add a viewer. Add a mix node, set the composite method to add, then add the video clip into the bottom input. Add two blur nodes and combine them with another mix node, also set to add. Change both the blur nodes to fast Gaussian and enable relative. Set the top blur node to 0.1 and the bottom to 0.25. Add a glare node, set it to fog glow, high quality and change the size to 6. Finally, connect the composite node to the last add node and render out your animation. Or if you want to composite in another program, unplug the video clip and change the color to black. Is the render taking too long? Try using Grader Blue Render Farm to render your Blender animations faster. <laughs>